Hi, this is Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3-ish um, with Rethunk Junk. And we are going to work on this today. We'll show you that in a minute. First, we're going to do our customer creations. And first, let me back up and say thank you to everybody who came to Vintage Market Days. It was fabulous. We missed our Thursdays at 3 last week because there was no internet service. We were so sad. It's the first one we've missed since we started them. Felt a little bit like a failure. It was awful. Um, so now we're going to do the Thursdays at 3-ish. My printer has no ink, so I'm going to show you pictures. The first one is, because one of the things we're doing today, well, let me just show you the picture first. So, Katie, come over here okay. and look at, here's the before, and this is, oh, there's a glare. Oh, sorry, tell me when to, is that good? Yeah. Okay, this is the before. This is Tina Michelle, and, you got it now? What am I doing It's wrong? fine, Ted. Okay, all right, now move your hand. I got it. I can hold the whole thing all by myself. All right, so this is Tina Michelle. She did this end table, and one of the reasons I picked it was because she mixed colors. This was her very first project, and she mixed colors, and that's one of the things we're doing today is mixing colors. She used, dum -da -da -dum, can you see it? Mm -hmm. She used cloud on the top, and then she mixed cloud and slate for the base. You can say it out loud. Lean it forward. Is that better? Is that better, Katie? That's good. Okay, great. Better, sweet girl. All right, so I was impressed that she mixed colors. I was impressed that she used it her first time. She also mentioned in her post that she called in to get help on ordering, and we were lovely and very helpful. That was probably Jill, who was helpful and lovely, and that she got her order very quickly, so kudos to the warehouse, and that she thinks... Thinks this is now her go-to paint. Thinks talk about she knows this is now her go-to paint. <laughs> so that was the first winner, Tina Michelle. So you got a thirty-five dollar um, credit. Place an order online, and we'll refund thirty-five dollars of that. Next winner. This one was not a project. This one I picked because she made me laugh. This. Oops. Can you see it? It's gonna. Is it gonna turn? Oh, good heavens! All right. <laughs> I'll turn the. All right. I'm just gonna do that. Can you do it? Can you see it? There's Jump a up on the camera. Lights. Oh, Tom's gonna fix it. Can you that's see it? good. Kind okay. Yeah, that's. Okay, that so works. this was Christy, and what's her last name? Looks like Posey. Christy Posey. I want to know where this is. That is absolutely hilarious. She posted it and said, Ooh, I could paint this. I could paint it too. That thing is humongous. So if you're watching, tell us where it is. Um, we would love to know, and if you're not, how come? Um, but So she's got a $35 credit too, so just place an order online and we'll be found $35. So now, let's start what we're doing for today. She got it? She won without even painting? She did, because that was hilarious. I've never seen anything like that. What would you say, Jill? They need to put in the notes of their order that they have a $35. Yes, please do put it. Place your order. Yeah, because, yeah, we, yeah. Place your order and then put in the notes section, have a $35 credit, won the customer creations on Thursday at 3-ish or some little note like that. So give me $35 back, whatever you want to say. So that's our two winners for this week. And let's turn around and look at, this is what we're doing. Here's our before. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> and that's our after. Go way over there, Kate. Oh, this yeah. way. Way over there. <laughs> so we're going to do the end tables. We're going to work on those start to finish, show you what we did. Ooh, Katie painted across like a professional. I am a professional. No, isn't that beautiful? Okay, <laughs> so first thing we're going to do, and let me just back up again and say, because we have some people that watch every week, which makes me so happy. I had somebody call the other day or talk to us or message or something. I have tiny, tiny brains. I don't remember how. But they were like, every Thursday at 3, they go to the bathroom at work, which cracks me up and they watch it in the bathroom. I love, love, love that. But then I've also realized that we have some new people who don't watch every week, so, because we get the questions, what kind of paint is that? And I'm thinking, duh, but then I realized, I didn't really say what kind of paint it was, so how would they know? So these are Rethunk Junk by Lara furniture paint products. First thing we're going to start with is prep, and you got to clean your piece. So I've prepped the rest of it, but we're going to clean. You're just going to spray it on and wipe it down. This gets off any grease, any oil, any dirt, gives the paint something to grab onto. Katie, you want to zoom in on the prep? On the prep? The prep. So, all right. What's the whispering going on? You know I can't handle whispering. I'm making sure I have the same comments as she does. Oh, okay. You think somebody, you, you think you're doing a different? Let's say from Arizona. Arizona. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, from so, Arizona. it helps. <laughs> Some pieces are way dirty. This one was medium dirty. So that gets us a good start. Then what we're going to talk about next, we took the hardware off, so we're good to go on that. The next thing we're going to do is a little bit about, just like um, Tina mixed slate and cloud, you can mix any of the colors. It's not like when you were in kindergarten and red and yellow made orange. Um, so you kind of got to be careful. But any color, I don't have a container, so I'll just show you what it did. Any color can be lightened. So I took... For this project, oh, that's lovely. I took Robin's <laughs> egg, 
and I've dribbled in it, but there's Robin's egg, and I took cotton, and I combined the two of those until I got a color that made me really happy. It's lighter than Robin's egg when you see it brushed on something, so like, let's do... Here is, wait, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I mean, that'll work with any color. Any color Where can be lightened. Go? You can't necessarily change to a whole different color, but any color can be lightened. So there's Robin's egg. What's your favorite Rethum Jump paint color? My, right now, this one, <laughs> it changes all the time. Um, I really like, okay, see the difference? You can tell, right, Katie? Mm hmm in the can, it was kind of hard to tell. But you can tell we lightened it quite a bit. And it's a really, now, pan back over to that fabulous piece of furniture so they can see what color oh. we're playing with. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So it's different than Robin's egg. It's really, really a pretty color. We were playing a while ago. We did a video which should be able to be found on YouTube. We have some recipes on our website. There's a little section that says colors. It drops down and says recipes. And you can get some different colors. We've played around this one because um, I've had people ask recently for lavender or purple. So this one is, what does it say, Katie? You can read it. Patriot, flamingo, and cotton. Yes, but tell them what parts. <laughs> one part patriot, four parts flamingo, and eight parts cotton. So... There you go. You can get to a purple. There's other colors. There's a dark olive green on the website. There's there's just a bunch of different ones, so you can check those out. Today, we're just working with lightening a color, and that works with all of them, just like the cloud and the slate works. So, now, next step is you slap it on. You don't have to be careful. We don't use fancy brushes. Okay, we're getting messages that the video is not working. <gasps> is it working for you? It is working for me. Half the people say it's working, half of them say it's not. Half the I'm doing this and half the people can't but see. The last well, not half said exactly. that it was frozen. It's frozen? Oh, uh, Mike said it was working. So. Is it still Maybe frozen? It's working in Georgia. <laughs> Georgia and Utah. Give us some feedback. Is it still frozen, people? They're smiley faces. Let us know. Actually, those are little sad faces because it's frozen for them. It's working for Lori and in Arizona. Oh, well, if it's working all the way in Arizona, surely it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it is working in Utah? Yeah. Okay, well, out west we're liking it, huh? And in Georgia it's working. Okay. Where is it not working? <laughs> I don't know where everybody's from, so I can't okay. <laughs> So, I am just putting this first coat on, not really being real careful at all, not really worrying. All I want to do is get the first coat on and make sure that there aren't a bunch of drifts. It seems like the majority are working. I hope so. It'd be sad to do this and not have They said see it. Texas, Virginia, North Carolina, and Wisconsin are all working. All right, yeehaw. It really could be somebody's nice trying to see it on 4D and it's. You know. Okay, so. Catch it later. Yeah, you can watch it later, although it's fun to interact with you guys. It's fun to have the questions and the comments and the. Of course, they can't hear that. They can't hear that? Why can't they hear that? Well, the people that's not working. Oh, the people that's not working for can't hear it. No, you're right. Okay. Well, you could put in, you know, comments for Beverly and Brandy. Because those are the ones that don't All right. Need First coat goes on, looks like this. We're going to sit this in front of a fan. That's a huge key to getting it dry really quick. And, Tom, would you do that for us, please? Sure. I'll have to do a dance somewhere while I do this. No, go ahead. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. Go. You don't have to be on camera. Just put it in front of the fan. Can't. All right, Katie, let's <laughs> focus on, don't focus on me, focus on that dresser right there. We're getting ready on, to do some okay. highlighting. No, do the candlesticks we did one day. And talk oh, this about them, Kate. I don't know how to talk about them. Yeah, we did, um, that was one of our first days at three. We painted glass. These are glass um, vases, and they make great candlesticks. Aren't they cute? I'll paint the same color. They're very cute. So you can paint glass. Woohoo! It was, what y'all missed was it was really heavy. Tom could hardly lift it. Go ahead and lift okay. the other one up there. Dude, I'll, never, I'll never help again. He's supposed to put it in front of the fan, but we'll wait on that. Yeah. Okay, so here's our cooking show. Ta-da! Look what we have. We have one that already has our first coat on it. It's already dry. Now, once it's dry with the fan, Tom, turn the fan on just so we can show him how quick it does dry. We won't necessarily need that one. The other thing is, we're painting the hinges. No worries. Just paint right over them. Second coat. Look how beautiful. Second coat is fabulous. Oh, that feels wonderful. I am very cold. I am fabulous. <laughs> this is because you weigh a half an ounce and you need to eat a cheeseburger. Then you'll be warmer. You have to speak up. I'm speaking up. Can you hear me? I'm not really saying anything now because I'm painting. They won't okay. know the response if they can't hear you. Okay. That's 
All right, so we've got the second coat going on. See how the second coat covers great? And if you notice, we're just using inexpensive brushes, nothing real fancy. And we're just, again, putting a little bit more on for the second coat and just making sure we don't have any drips or any ucky spaces. Okay. And right here, I'm not worried about because I'm going to come back in and accent that with another color. Am I talking loud enough? You are. Yeah, they say loud and clear. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And we'll get the side here. When you're distressing, you don't have to be as exact with the paint. If you're not distressing, first question would be, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Second question, second thing would be, you do have to probably be a little bit more exact with your paint. But if you're distressing, it's going to cover up a whole lot of issues. So, almost got the front done on this one. And, we'll move to the third piece. Alright. Front done. Now, while that dries, did I miss any spots, any major spots? Not that I can see. Okay. All right. So, while that dries, we're going to play around with this one that we already have the first two coats this on. This way. And we're going to accent a couple spots on that. I'm coming. So, first thing we're going to do is the sides the columns. See how in that one we've put in the cotton color on that? Can you see the difference in the color? There's no reason to tape off because you're going to distress and it's going to give you a nice line when you distress. So we're just going to add the cotton. And adding another color makes the piece look so custom. Just like um, Tina's piece where she painted the top a different color. If you're doing a dining set, painting that a different, the top a different color is always a good idea. Adding an accent color is a good thing. That's okay, I can be in front of the lights. Nobody needs to see me. <laughs> All right. So kind of down to the bottom, but again, the distressing is going to make a huge difference when we distress. So you're going to turn the fan on this one, right, Tom? Oh, well, of course, dear. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do this in the middle. Got a question? Got a question? No. No? Okay. Oh. Um, and Alice Erickson. Okay. okay. So, I'm going over this, and I'm not worried about getting out of the lines because I'm coming in and fix that again in a minute, but I do want to get all the edges on that. Okay. Tom, turn on this one. Okay. Please. Yes, dear. Yes, there's not really what happens at home. That's just for the video. <laughs> Okay, cutting in the color on this side too. And one coat is all we need in this color because it's covering really good over the blue. And we're distressing again, so it's less stressful. Right. No one has any questions or any interaction? Or can do them when no one see. I'm just doing this video for my family, right? Not working? Yeah. Like everybody has to continue. I'm yeah. sorry. I feel bad when it doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna do the bottom two, but it's the same principle as this, so I'm just gonna wait and do it. Oh, it's gonna be fabulous. Because we're gonna do the hardware too. Okay. You should be oscillating. You should have a a fan on that <laughs> and come on, baby, work with me. Where am I pointing at right now? Right now. We're gonna be pointing at this one. Okay. Because we're touching up where we got out of lines. It's gonna take a smaller brush. Did somebody say speak up or was that just yeah. Tom? That was just Tom. What was that? What was the first project you ever project you ever did with oh, Recon Stars? Oh no. What was the first thing that do you guys remember? <laughs> yeah, it feels fabulous. You should be here. It's awesome. When when is that time of when it's that time of life, the fans feel fabulous. I pretend that they're for the furniture, but they are for me. Okay. So we're just touching up around there. 
so that it's not white showing through. For those of us who tuned in after the start, would you repeat the brand of paint you're using? No. Just kidding, <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't show this because this is my It's on the one. top of the dresser here. Where? Oh, okay, yeah. We've done check on our furniture paint. No sanding, no priming. Clean it, jump right in, start painting. That's what we've done. Since we started the video, we have a first coat on this one. Well, part of it. We have our second coat on this one. That's a pretty color. I love that color. And then we have done our cutting in on this one. We're getting ready to sand this one if someone would also like get the light off in the fan. Oh, question for Tom. Oh, question for Tom, yes. We don't we get the light off my face. We don't read the crabby comments online. Oh, Just kidding. Question. Um, do you have two coats on? Two coats on and it still looks like burgundy? Sometimes it'll look like a pinker color in the in the container. I'm sorry, talking to Jill. Sometimes it'll look like a pinker color in the container, but when you get it on your piece, it looks good. The other option is if it's still a color you're not hugely fond of, um, which that's weird because the barn door is not pink, um, put a glaze on it or add a little black. But contact us after the video. Contact Jill. Jill, Junk by Laura at hotmail.com, and she will help you out. We will resolve that issue because we want you to love the color. Okay, any other questions? Okay, while this is drawing, you don't even have anything pointed at this. It's pointed well. It's, the one next to you is. You couldn't get around. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't get around what? All the oh, cords. All I the don't. cables and cords. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Piece we'll go with that. Don't see the third one. We'll go with that. Okay, don't focus on me. I'm I don't know what to around. focus on right now. <laughs> focus on the dresser. Focus on the dresser. <laughs> I feel lost. <laughs> it looks like it's got a mustache. <laughs> you should go mustache like that, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we're doing hardware. If the hardware is not something you're a fan of, you can paint it and it will totally go away. If it is something you are a fan of, and you can put this somewhere else, I'll try to open this door. <laughs> if it is something you're a fan of, it's still... When you put it on, it can look like, oh, that's major hardware. Look at the difference when we go over way close. Like this. Okay. So Hold it, Laura. You keep running yeah. off and talking. Nobody can hear you. Follow me. Well, you told me not to follow you. I don't follow my butt. Follow me. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Top hardware. Now, focus right here. <laughs> <laughs> so in trouble. Thirty years go so fast, and then it's all over. Okay. Just want a tiny bit of paint on your brush. So I've got paint on my brush, rubbed it on a rag, and we're just gonna highlight the architecture. Not paint that's solid. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Does milk paint have the same coverage as your paint? Um, I can't buy your paint anywhere around my area. Well, first of all, send us the name of some stores. We would love to be in your area. That would make us happy, and you'll get a credit for free product if we got a store near you that you suggest. Second of all, we do ship. You can order online. Third, no, good night. Put <laughs> on the dresser. Stop it. Third, um, milk paint does not. Milk paint is made to um, uh, self-distress, so it will just kind of decide where it's going to stick and where it's not. Um, it's a beautiful look if you are if you like that. You just have to know that you don't have a lot of control over where it sticks and where it doesn't. Um, but it's, it's a great thing. So, See how you see all the architecture now? You can make it online. It's pretty. Yeah, so you can order online. Thank you, Katie. You're welcome. Did somebody ask that? No. Okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. What are you using to cover the drawer pulls? This is the cotton paint. Cotton is what I used on top of the piece, and it's what I used to highlight the edges, so it's what I'm using to put on the hardware. And it just really softens it when we put it on here, just one sec. And okay, how, you can follow. And what? <laughs> how well will that stay on the hardware? It'll stay on the hardware forever. If you want to get it off, you're going to have to prep it and really rub. 
once it cures, I mean, right now we just not stuck it on, but it stays on really, really well. Just like with hinges, it'll stay on the metal. In fact, that, that reminds me of something else I want to show you. Um, so now, instead of it being the harsh brass, it is, I can't tell if that's straight or not. Is that straight? Yeah, I think that's straight. Eh, yeah, not really. Oh. There you go, now it is. Alright, see how pretty? Just kind of feathers it in and makes it work. We're almost ready to distress here. As far as it's sticking to metal, Katie, walk over here. Follow me, don't follow my butt. <laughs> okay. You okay. ready? The lamb. Go close up on the lamb. That's the same color we just mixed. And then we brush the cotton paint over it. That was a lamp we found this morning at a thrift store. And here is what we started with. Better, huh? Are the little That's hearts better. and the oozing flying all over There's the screen because of how heart. fabulous it is? Isn't that awesome? The difference? It's very pretty. Thanks. I feel like it's just you and me. Well, because I think <laughs> after they respond, it like takes a minute to actually... <laughs> Some of them have probably passed out from how beautiful it is, too. So it's going <laughs> to take a while for them to recover and comment. So, makes a huge difference. You can tell this is like, what, faux marble, I guess, and metal and plastic and a whole bunch of stuff. So, it's awesome. All right, let me put... This other gurgle on, and then we'll distress this piece. I'll just distress. Okay, Tom just said, take your time, they don't have anything else to do. I am hurrying. And I think that was really sexy. Really sexy. So your two colors are cotton and what? Cotton, and then I mixed cotton and robin's egg, because I wanted something lighter. I really like this blue. It's making me happy. And I just mixed, I put most of my cotton in a container and added robin's egg a little bit at a time until I got a color that made me really happy. And this one makes me really happy. Okay, we're going to distress. Thank you. Okay, we're going to distress the sides of the lamp. We're just going to hit all of these little ridges right here, and then we're going to come in and do this part. Bases were painted with three thunk junk too, right? The up here? Yes. Yes, that's the linen. And yes, they were. We painted the bases, they're glass bases, and then we distressed them with the electric sander. So, like, right here, just to make the polka dots show up. Um, and where do you get your sander? <laughs> Every time I do that. <laughs> Home Depot. It's great. They have them that don't have the battery. They have a cord, and they're 29 bucks. They have a little dust catcher on the back. 29 bucks for the one with the dust catcher. So they're awesome. Way easy to use. Um, I'm going to paint this piece of hardware too because it's a little bit different. And then we're going to seal the top of this one. I'm going to put this one down on the ground. Um, and am I coming over here with you? Mm, yes, but let me get no. this first. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of grabbed it with the carpet. Now, I will come in later and have a spirit of excellence and paint the top of this, 
but it's so easy just to slap everything on, and it looks so good to make me happy. So, we're going to do this piece. Come here, Cater. Yeah. Again, got a little bit of the cotton paint. Get most of it off. <laughs> it was the nightstand. We went through this a couple videos ago. Okay. Softer and prettier. Let's attach it. And see, there's no, I mean, it's, it's not perfect. Well, it is because I did it, but it's not perfect, you know. Can I turn this fan I'm off? Tell them to over there. Three hands over there. Hurry, everybody's waiting. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I'm going to hold the other one up so you can see the difference. If you, which you may not want to do the... It's an option, depending on your piece. Yes. But I'm speaking up. They can hear. Thank you, Katie. All right. Got that one on. Now, if we don't, see the difference? I just like how soft and feathered and pretty that is. Okay, I'm gonna do this, but I should touch that up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flat top it. So pretend that there's no spots on this, and we're gonna go ahead and flat top this. So you see, we gotta seal it. Can we flat top in the brush? Okay. Do you want to move the fan? Um, stain top and Thank you, the I couldn't do that. flat top and tough top are two products that you don't want the fan on because you want them to be able to self-level. It's way easier to put it on, though. Okay, Tom's saying they can't see all those spots. I can see all those spots. I'll go back in and touch those up later, but I just want to show you. Because that's another good point. You can paint over the tough top. So, all I did was put it on. I'm going side to side to smooth it out. The bubbles will go away. They look fabulous. I don't think you can see the bubbles on the video. You can't see the bubbles either. Okay. Do not get a daggum light. <laughs> All right. And then I just got the edges. Okay, that'll dry. I had somebody a while ago ask. Do what? Can he wants me to try and get the bubbles. Okay. See the you bubbles? can see some of them there, yeah. All right. It just self levels and the bubbles go away. Had somebody ask a while ago, they said what they wanted to see on the videos was me messing up and then fixing it. <laughs> I had a spot on this dresser over here that messed up in the back because somebody had put something weird on it, some gooey something or another that I didn't notice. When I tough topped, that wet the paint and so that color came through. I didn't panic because I'm a professional. I just went in and put more <laughs> cotton over the top of it. You've already sealed it, so putting some more cotton on top of it just got rid of the spot and it wasn't a big deal at all. So. Do you not use a finishing pad on the tough top? I do sometimes. Sometimes I don't. It's so easy and it just kind of self-levels and does its own thing. If I'm really stressed or if it's a huge, big, long dresser, I sometimes will. But for the most part, I just brush it on and go with it. If you look at that one over there, I just brushed it. If you want to go see if you can do a close-up, I brushed that on and didn't use a pad on that at all. You can. It's not like it's wrong. It's personal preference. So, but, um... This one will be dry in just a few minutes. Once the bubbles go away, I usually do turn the fan on because I'm really impatient and I don't like to wait. But that'll go away. What, are you done laughing at him the lights? I know, there's cords <laughs> everywhere. It's great. If you were here and could see the nut, the nutty nutty. Well, you can kind of see some of the lights behind your head right now. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. So, if you look at the, what we started with, because you can get a good first. vision of this. This is what we started with, and that's what we put the paint over without any sanding or priming, and it's totally sticking. On the pieces over there that we've got. Here, Tom, reach your hand over. You won't scratch? Um, where are these pieces located? Do you have a store other than Woodstock Market? These pieces, before long, these pieces will be located in my bedroom. Oh, I have not <laughs> changed my bedroom furniture out in probably 12 years. I have a furniture. I mean, we do furniture. You'd think I would change it out all the time. I fell in love with these pieces, so they're, but my bedroom furniture will be available for sale at Woodstock Market <laughs> before too long. We do have a store at Woodstock Market. We have a booth and we have furniture there for sale. So the paint's for their sale for there also. That answers the, the question, do you sell your finished pieces? Yes, we do sell <laughs> our finished pieces, except for this set. Tom's telling me all the time, don't look at it, don't name it, it's like a little puppy, don't. But I actually love this set, I absolutely fell in love with it, so it's going home with And me. why do you use 
use the tough top. Just for more durability. It's not essential, like our nightstands right now. It's on my side of the bed. Sorry, I've got a string in my feet. Um, my side of the bed has um, tough top on it. Tom's, my side of the bed is plain. Tom says tough top. Because I'm going to use a coaster and I'm going to be careful. He's not. He's going to put his drink there. He's going to run his keys, his laptop across it. So it's just extra durability. And the only place we put it really is horizontal surfaces just to keep things a little bit more durable. So um, we have, um, for the people that are asking about the pain and don't already know, we have about 180 stores in about 34 states. So if you're looking to buy the paint, go online, look at our store locator, enter your zip code and find a place near you. Quit swinging the light. Enter, store, <laughs> enter your zip code and find a place near you because we love for you to support our retailers. It's great to develop a relationship with them. They can answer questions. They can give you suggestions. Um, so check for a spot near you. If there's not a spot near you, we do sell online and you can order online and we'd love to have you give it a try. So thank you so much for joining us. Happy rethunking.